Howdy folks. Hope you guys had a great weekend. It is Monday and I want to do a big sign carvers of the day. We haven't done one for gosh two or three weeks and so this group is actually going to take us through the end of December last year. Yes I know I'm behind but I'm trying to get caught up but with just so much going on I want to give you guys the best uh, but I may do a, another one of these uh, sooner than rather than later maybe another one next week if possible because um, I really want to kind of get caught up more than I am today being you know early March January, yeah March we're three months behind anyway so this goes through the end of December and I have to say you guys will see this I have to say man alive what a great group of signs this may be the best I've seen if it's not the best it's it's equal with the best group that I've seen so I think there are some great not only great signs in here but great ideas for niches that you guys might think about so that's what I always hope for is that this spurs some imagination in you guys that you can get an idea of something to do a niche for a um, for a group of customers out there. Anyway, let's get to it. So, Lynn McKenzie. So this is a uh, perfect time for the dog to start yeah. barking. This is one that she did for, um, and put a bunch of cedar boards together and made one big sign out of it. I think she put some rails on the back to make it into a big sign, but just came out great. Terrific job, Lynn. And we have Dave Levesque, I think. Um, and this has uh, only, he's only been carving for five weeks, oh, which wow. is crazy. I just, the talent here. You need one of those, my cave, my rules. Yeah, uh, just terrific, terrific work. Great job, Dave. I can't imagine the signs that will come out of that. I just, I love that. Keith Smith, beautiful sign. So he uh, did this, he posted it on Facebook, and he sold three of them within four hours. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. So I, I hope you guys, again, you know, there's some really, really valuable stuff here that you guys could uh, take advantage of. There's just great niches. Dennis Oliverio, his first sign. Cool. Terrific job, Dennis. Nice just study. some amazing, amazing stuff here. Here's another niche. This is Danny Van Meter, a cross for a gravesite uh, for a corrections officer. Um, and, you know, we, I see a lot of memorial stuff. Just a terrific, terrific job. Great job, Danny. John Bonk, here, look at here. He's got some um, customized cutting boards, I would say. I can't say for sure that they are. But I'm, my assumption is those are custom yeah. cutting boards. And I see a lot of stuff in here. Remember, guys, these were submitted during, like, the Christmas season. So you'll see a lot of stuff in here that are gifts. Eli Eliza Cruz. And now that bottom sign, it's really hard to read, but it says, be the change you want to see in you, or be the change you want to see. Cool. And it's a piece of walnut with a crotch in it like that. Really, really cool. But I knew it's really hard to read, so that's the reason I did that. So Leo Deal, I think Is that's cool. That yep, that's Leo. So he did this. He said after watching us for a few months, he decided to step out of his comfort zone. And this was from his first show. Wow, good for him. And that was right uh, just before Christmas. There he is. Good job, Leo. Proud of you, man. Good job. Michael Ayers. Oh, I like that. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Clean bees. I like that. The way he added the, the beehive okay. at the top. Excellent job. Beautiful. Just some great stuff here. Chuck Young. Now this is Chuck's fourth grandchild. And he made that box like uh, four years ago and now each side oh. is carved with one of his grandkids names in it so he's got four sides um, all four sides are now carved with one of his grandchildren and this is the fourth of his uh, fourth uh, grandchild um, anyway terrific Chuck does some beautiful stuff Kevin Kiernan an 18 inch round I think I were I can't say for sure, hold, hold but I thought he made this for his son. 
but I might be wrong on that. I apologize, but it's really cool. Red and black Spider-Man logo. Awesome. Nathan Kraft, check this out. Whoa, Nathan. That is a Maverick. That is just wild. I love it. Looks like it's done in oak. It's two foot by two. Oh, it is done in oak. I've got a note on the back. Cool. Two by two. Two foot by two foot. Here's another. Robbie and Julie Strum. Sturm, in, excuse me. Uh, where are they at? In I know. I Netherlands should know that. I should know that. They're overseas. Yeah. yeah. In the UK. Or Terrific. Something. Again, ranch signs. Man. Mm. So if you've got ranches around you, it's a great... Um, just, I just can't get over how much good stuff is here. Jamie Wilson, three foot by five foot flag. Check that out. Hold on, I want to zoom in on that. So, um, he does several different size flags. His Facebook page is Returning Life, Jamie Wilson, and, um, uh, he does uh, 15 by 26 flags, and he does, anyway, three different size flags. Great job. Very popular now. Another great niche. Um, Danny Burns, or Dana Burns, excuse me, I'm sorry. That one's really cool. The peace sign right over that mountain range. Great edging, too. Got some torch going on there. Great job, Dana. Calvin Burnett. The top part back there we go and uh, this and other signs he sold over five hundred dollars worth during the Christmas season of these kinds of signs so again just some great success stories all right so this one's cool it's actually two different signs Bert Graham my buddy from Canada made this for a father and son I've got to flip this over sorry Two, cool. two different uh, man cave signs. Those are cool, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Great job, Bert. Awesome. Eric Metzger, very first sign. He made this as a Christmas gift for his friend. Very cool. Well done, especially for a first sign. Very well done. Nice lines. Nate and Andrea Lay. This one's cool. This is for his son and his daughter-in-law's first baby. I love the design. Again, a great idea for a niche. Babies, new babies, they're born all the time. That's a great idea for a niche for a young family. Very cool. Donald Spicer, check this out. The wood is uh, amazing. So, um, the, I love the freeform shape, and it is um, laminated maple, soft maple. Oh, that's cool. Beautiful board. Great job. Great job, Donald. There's another. Um, this is from Jeff, and he told me phonetically. To yeah, he just called. Yes. The, the, uh, yeah. It's El, El I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. El Tisti. El Tisti. El Tisti. Yeah he, just to him. yeah, he just called the other day, I think. Yeah, really a cool, very, very nice, Jeff. Beautiful. Another great sign here, Jeff Mackey. This is made from a hundred year old floor joist out of a house. Is that the eagle? Yeah. Very cool. So he took an old joist out of a floor and made a cool sign out of it. Here's another fantastic one. John Diekman. Very first sign? Yeah, as a Christmas Whoa. gift. The top one is 30 by 17, and the small ones are 5 by 7s. Wow. Very first sign. Dang. Wow. Crazy. Crazy good. I, I, I'm telling you, this group is just amazing. Here's another one. J.C. Palmer. Check out this fish. Just a terrific, terrific sign. I love it. Great job, JC. JD Garrity. Um, now, I may be wrong on this, but and it may be for a friend, but he said this was done for his wife that passed away unexpectedly. So this is as a, a tribute. And I apologize, JD. I didn't I don't have as good a notes as I should have. Um, but I if it was your wife that passed away, obviously condolences, my friend. But you did a terrific job on this sign. Yeah, really, really nice. 
Mike? Mifflin. Mifflin, yes. Oh, Check out the frame. And this is his first sign. Check out the frame around that. I think, I just love the way he did that frame. Yeah. Really, really well done. First sign, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Here's another one. Ruben Garcia. Check out the color. Cubs fan, maybe? Yeah, well, that's a bear. Oh, that's bear. the bears. Sorry. Yeah, that's the Chicago Bears. Sorry. Yeah, they're, they're brand X if you're a Vikings yeah. fan. They're mortal <laughs> enemies. Enemy. But it's a cool, it's a cool, very cool, well done, Ruben. That's awesome. But if you're a Vikings fan, you would burn this in the fireplace. <laughs> it's already, see, it's probably a Vikings fan that's tried to burn it there. Anyway. Stop it. All right, sorry. Great job, Ruben. All right. Um, Jerry uh, Pullen. So this is, um, he made for his church and it's gold on blue. And the gold is that um, metallic gold that I've used before, the one shot. It's the one shot metallic gold, which is really cool. If you guys haven't used that, it's really awesome. I did that on the Rolling Hill sign and a couple different times. Anyway, here's another beautiful sign by our friends Jeffrey, yeah. Jeff and Leah. Leah. Rivera. Wow, beautiful God, sign. Jeff. Gorgeous, isn't that? Isn't that beautiful? beautiful? I love it. Jeff's really turning into a first class sign carver. Darren Smith, very first sign. Check that out. A little sewing machine. That's yeah. Awesome. Isn't that cool? You guys that are doing these first signs, I mean, I'm so just blown away by the ambition level that you guys are just going after nailing these things. My buddy Gary Zellner. Let's see. So this is 14 inches tall by 8 foot long. Gary does some great stuff. And that is Gary. Very cool. That is it, boys and girls. So, um, I, I, hope you, I hope you guys find this valuable. I just think there's so many great ideas, not just great work, but great ideas that you guys can take and, and go after some of these niches. There's, there's like, must be 10 or 12 different areas of, of niches that you guys could go after. Tons of customers out there that are just waiting for you. All they got to do is see what you make. So anyway, that is it. Wednesday, um, I'm not sure what's coming up Wednesday. We may be doing, I did, I've got a couple interviews that I've done with sign carvers that I'd love, I may be posting on Wednesday. Don't forget, this coming Friday is, if you're interested in the seminar, um, and we, we talked about that the other day on Friday and the Friday before that. If you're interested in the seminar in September, we're definitely going to do it. It's a done deal. It's going to happen. If you're interested in that, all the details, um, go watch Friday's video. We went over the details. We'll do it again on this Friday. But you need to get an email to Vicki if you want to be put in the drawing um, for coming to the seminar. Um, so it's Vicky with Dave Signs at gmail.com. You need to email her directly. Um, I guess that's about it. We've got next week, we've got some really, uh, I think, a collaboration coming up. If everything goes right, if I can get things done in time, really big collaboration that I'm really excited about this one. And then there's another one coming right after that. So, hope you guys have a great week. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, we'd love for you to subscribe. Click that little bell icon so you get notified when we post videos three times a week. And um, give us a thumbs up. We'd love it if you'd share this, pass the word, let people know what we do. Thanks for all of the feedback on our little advertising campaign we got going. I'm hearing more and more that you guys are seeing our commercials. And if you do see our commercials, shoot me an email. Let me know. I'd, I'd love to know it. Just to make sure that the money I'm spending is, is people are seeing it. So um, I hate spending money without knowing for sure whether it's working. So um, thanks, guys. We love you. And we will see you on Wednesday. Have a good one. Bye-bye.